2020 and Tuesday, April 21st, 2020. Mother's Trustees Anniversary will be April 5th, 2020. Pastor Malcolm E. Lewis will deliver the message. Youth Anniversary will be Sunday, April 19th, 2020. The Honorable Reverend Timothy J. Walker, Jr. will be the guest evangelist. 
You may begin paying your church anniversary assessments as early as today, $117. Reverend Dr. Margaret Knight, church anniversary chairperson. We encourage every member of the Anderson Chapel Missionary Baptist Church to support and attend all of as many church functions as possible. We are all one body in Christ, and we need all members of the body working together to keep the body strong and productive. Please um, continue to pray for our sick and shut-in members and our pastor's union statement. I believe that all people matter to God and that Christ's message and ministry through the local church is the hope of the world. Happy thought for the week. Our lives begin to end the day we become silent about things that matter. Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Sister Edwards, for the announcements. We want to also remind you again that uh, uh, the primary election is around the corners. The early voting has started. And if you have not voted, please take the time to vote. If you have, encourage someone to, to vote. And uh, let me, let's make sure that uh, we exercise our right to vote to make your vote count. Amen. Amen. Also, again, as we said a couple of weeks ago, if you have not uh, secured your, your uh, real ID, please look into it and uh, uh, secure your real ID because you will not be able to uh, fly into the government facility without uh, some proper documentation. Amen. Amen. I, again, am delighted to be here. And I was listening to my wife as I was coming in, and she was talking about, uh, I know she was talking about thanking God for the ability to be able to walk and consider the accident that we suffered through. On Monday, uh, we was in Greensboro. I had a doctor's appointment in uh, Durham on Thursday, so we spent the night in Greensboro. And she was talking with a young lady up there, and they were just, they were just talking and uh, talking, and I could barely talk, so I was just quiet anyway. But the two of them, they were just going back and forth, back and forth, and I was just standing there, and uh, I was just amazed. And I told the lady that she was talking to, I said, you have to understand that this is a lady that uh, four months ago that couldn't walk or talk. And I just, if she wanted to talk, she was, they was, uh, they was giving each other testimonies. And, I, and it just, just made me feel good just to be able to see her stand there and be able to do that. You never really truly appreciate what God has given you until you can't use what God has given you. And so I encourage you, whatever talent the Lord has given you, use it. Use it to the fullest. That's one of the reasons why on, on this day, uh, as the program indicates, we have one of our very own who will be giving words of encouragement today. If you have talent, use it. Use it for the glory of the Lord. We're so delighted for this very talented choir. Give the choir a hand. Amen. Amen. Thank you for using your talent today. We thank God for our ministers, Dr. Knight, and Mr. Power. Amen. 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 To our deacons, give them a hand. Amen. Amen. Our mothers, give them a hand. Amen. Amen. Our trustees, give them a hand. Amen. Our other standing at the door, give them a hand. Amen. To our visitors, give them a hand. Amen. To you and you, to all our members, give yourself a hand. Amen. 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 Nick, you gonna start Amen. something today? Amen. All right. Amen. He's got to do prayers. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Let's give him opportunity. We're just delighted because this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Let's rise to our feet as the choir shall give us the opening selection.
you our humble children one more time, God. We come to you just as humble as we know how, God. God, we just want to thank you for allowing us to stay another day, God. God, the choir scene stop by here just for a little while, God. God, we want you to stay with us, God. We want you to guide us, God. We want you to show us the way, God. For that, God, we just want to tell you thank you. God, we thank you for allowing us to assemble one more time, God. In your house, God, to receive your word. God, we just want to tell you thank you, God. God, whatever we have on our hearts, God, let it be clear so we can receive the full word, God. God, we receive what you have for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 For a little while, Lord, in my own for cry, stop by here for a little while, even if you don't stay long. Yeah, even if you don't stay long. Now, if a problem exists with you, let me tell you what you are.
Yes, indeed. When we've gone the last mile of the way, we know that there is joy mm -hmm. that awaits because we know when we've gone that last mile that we will spend eternity with Jesus. Amen. Amen. That is rest at the closing of the day. Thank right. God for Amen. Jesus and what he did at Calvary. He has truly made a way for us when there was no way. Amen. Right. Amen. Truly give an honor to God for my being here today, to my Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ, to the Holy Spirit who is my God, to my pastor, Reverend Malcolm Amen. Lewis, to the deacons, mothers, officers, church family, and friends, to everyone in the household of faith. Amen. It is good to be here on today Amen. to celebrate black history. Yes. Amen. And we couldn't celebrate black history if it wasn't for God Almighty. Because it could have been the other way. <coughs> we could still be toiling in those cotton fields. Yes. We could still be laboring in those tobacco fields. And there's nothing wrong with doing that. Mm -hmm. But we could be doing it as a beast of burden Amen. and not a man or woman laboring Amen. to take care of our families. Mm -hmm. Because they treated us as beasts of burden. Uh, we labored that they may take care of their families, but they didn't care anything for ours. But we just thank God for where he has brought us from. And not only for where he has brought us from, but where he has brought us to and where he is still taking us. Because he hasn't finished with us yet. Glory to God this morning. Uh, we're going to ask uh, Brother Jaden Green if he would come and read the scripture, and that will be followed by prayer by Brother Nicholas Cobb. Brother Jaden Green, will you come to read our scripture? He'll be coming from 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17. For God's spirit, there is always penalty. Liberty. Amen. 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 And this is why I'm so careful that everybody is bringing us to this church. Please stand. Amen.
I <coughs> had the privilege on Thank Thursday you. night to <coughs> preach at a holy temple, and the theme for the service was, Who Does God Say That I Am? Amen. And he knows who I am, but he also knows me by name. Amen. Amen. He knows each of us individually yes, by, yes, name. Amen. by name. Jesus. I want to thank Jesus. Brother Jaden Green for the scripture and Brother yes. Nicholas Carr for the prayer. Amen. We're so proud of our young people. Let's Amen. give them a hand. Amen. encouraging them and, 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 and giving them the chance to, to speak out here. Amen. This is the training ground Amen. that when they go out in the world they will speak with confidence Amen. because they've been trained well. Our welcome will come from Sister Virginia Everett Amen. with birthday rec recognition by the Mother's Ministry. Amen. Amen. Good morning church. Good morning. Good morning. First give an honor to God uh, the pastor of this house Amen. Minister Knight. Yes. And uh, like Pastor say, we don't come to Anderson Chapel by mistake. Amen. So if you're here this morning, you are welcome. You're welcome once, you're welcome twice, you're welcome to do whatever the Spirit of God leads Amen. you to do. You are welcome. Amen. 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 <laughs> Mother Christine Jones, the 11th. Amen. Amen. Sister Betty Wooten, the 22nd. Yes. Amen. Right. Amen. Sister Virginia Everett, the 22nd. Amen. 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 Both other birthdays in February, <coughs> so you can stand and give your um the date and your age if you like. Yes, my grandbaby would be three tomorrow, the 17th. She had the time of her life yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> my uh, older brother Bernard, uh, his birthday was on February the 8th. And my sister Molly, her birthday is on the 22nd. Isn't that a wonderful thing? A lot of babies going on the 22nd. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, uh, our brother Sammy, his birthday is today. And he's how old Olivia? Sixty. Sixty. And we have two grandchildren birthdays this month. One was the one was the thirteenth, she was ten, and one was the fourth, she was fifteen. Hey, okay, I got some my son in law was this tenth. Got a door the twenty first second. Twenty third, door the twenty fourth, and grand door the twenty fifth. Oh, Amen. Wow. Oh, wow. I guess he. <laughs> <laughs> my daddy's birthday was the thirteenth. He turned eighty six. My uncle's birthday is the day he turned eighty six. Wow. My daughter's birthday will be next uh, on the twentieth, and she'll be twenty nine, I think. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, God bless you. Happy birthday to you. Is there anyone celebrating an anniversary in the month of February? If so. Please stand and give the date. Thank you. Amen. 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 Thank you, Sister Everett, for that beautiful welcome and the mother for that birthday recognition. We do such a great job. And February, we know, is Black History Month. 
uh, mainly because two, uh, they chose that month because two Americans were born during that time that had a true impact on black history. One was Frederick Douglass, <coughs> I think the other was Abraham Lincoln. Those two Americans, that's why they chose uh, February as Black History Month. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we feel like they gave us the shortest month, but that's all right. We know our black history extends throughout the year. Amen. It's for them, it ain't for me. <laughs> <laughs> I celebrate it every month. It ain't right. for me, it's that's for them. That's why I said we go throughout right, the year. Right, right. It's for so, them. You know, but that's okay. <laughs> we know how to make things work. Remember, Angela, you spoke one time how mothers can you take a it. little bit and make a full pill? Right. <laughs> <laughs> so we know how to take a little and make a lot, don't we? Amen. Yeah. Uh, at this time, Deacon J. Bay is going to come and, and give us youth meditation. May we ask all you when they come from all you. <laughs> James, come on. <laughs> <laughs> all Child, yeah, you're right. <laughs> 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 Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I have been trying to figure out all week what should I say to our young people today. And I, I know the young people that come in the house, and I know some are very small. And now I tell you, the small at least learn how to say thank you. Yeah, uh, my little great grandbaby, she not here today. She had a birthday yesterday. She good for saying thank you, Papa. And she knows just saying thank you, she gonna get something else. <laughs> <laughs> but for for the old one, I want to talk to you about forgiveness. And especially some of you that are in school at like Brown, okay, Jalen. Yeah. I, I know that different things happen at school at some time and you get so mad with people. You know what? God can forgive for whatever they do. <coughs> That's right. And so this is what I did. And I, I thought about life now. I should have got a little calculator for everyone. There's something the song this morning, God know my name. Mm -hmm. So whatever you do, how many you do it? God still know who you are. Amen. And the thing about that in uh, Matthew 18 and 8, chapter 18, verse 21 through 22, he said, Then Peter came to him and said to the Lord, How often shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him to seven times? And Jesus told him, Jesus said unto him, I say not unto thee seven, seven times, but seventy times. How many of you ever did anything wrong? Oh, you did you did me to do it. But you still did, did, right? Sherry, put some numbers in here. Any number you want to play with. I'm not saying you did wrong to me in time, but just put a number in here. How many numbers you put in How many numbers you put in he got 96 in here. <laughs> We're not saying he did something wrong 96 times. Right? But you know what he can do? <coughs> all he do is see a here for clear. See also can mean Christ. See also can mean forgiveness. Yeah. And all he had to do hit the clear button. Yeah. All right. Yes. Yes. Zero, right? Yeah. Yeah. All your sin is forgiven. Jane, what puts the number in? You can put some you want to. Okay, Jay, that's the math. 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 Oh, he read, but he just said 15 times. I said one. Okay, one? Okay, well. Sometimes we make mistakes, sometimes we do more, wrong more than we think. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But he, he said one, but somehow it had 15. But hit the little C button here. Where it one or 15? What do you got? He's still 
Oh, now you got one fifty one and hit clear button. Papa James will be your whole time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. You want to put some numbers in? Let's see what you get.
Praise God. Uh, we're going to change a little bit on the program. Mother Johnson has come in and she has a poem that she would like to share for this Black History Amen. program. So Mother Johnson, if you will come at this time. Good morning. Good morning. First, we honor to God, um, Pastor Lewis, Evangelist Nan, uh, other ministers in the house, if there's any, because Mother Saints and friends. Uh, we do need to remember, as uh, Brother Vance has stated, that our history goes beyond just this day, but it goes into every day. And we need to be able to hold our heads up high whenever we encounter anyone that wants to uh, deny us our status of being proud black people or to tread upon our accomplishments that we have made during the years. So when someone uh, approaches you or as you go through this land, be able to hold your head up high and this is what you can say. Do not look into my face and see the color of my skin and not see the content of my character. Do not look into my history and see the darkness of my past and not see the brightness of my future. Do not look at the losses of my mistakes and not see the profits of my achievements. Do not look at the distance I have yet to travel and not see the origin from which I have come. Do not look at the foolishness of my youth and not see the wisdom of my older age. Do not look at the poverty of my family and not see the riches of its love. And do not look at the child I once was and not see the beautiful black person that I have become. Amen. 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 Uh, I just asked Mother Johnson, was that one of her original poems? I don't know how many of you know that Mother Johnson is an excellent uh, poet. She uh, writes poetry very well, but uh, that was beautiful Amen. for us to take pride in not only what we were, but where we're going and, and where we came from. You know, because a lot of times we judge people based on uh, uh, one part of their life, Amen. and that's not all they were. A uh, friend of mine, dear friends, I call them my older sister, um, they funeralized their brother on Friday. And um, his death was a result of, of, of some of the life that he lived, but they celebrated him his whole life, not just that shortcoming that he had, as so many people often do. Uh, William Shakespeare said that the good that we do is often interred with our bones, and the evil lives on after us. But we got to look at the whole life, not just that part that stands out because it was a mistake. And so I thank Mother uh, Johnson for sharing that poem on today. It's beautiful to keep us encouraged. And it's beautiful to say words like that to encourage our youth. That no matter where you start, that doesn't determine where you will end up. Amen. 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 So let's thank God for Black History Month and for uh, sharing with each other. Amen. So we're going to ask uh, Trustee Penner if he will come and lead us in worship and giving. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, two brothers, uh, tables in front of the public, two bastards of brothers holding for the mission. Us and this talk.
Yeah. 
he has committed sins, yes. they shall be forgiven him. Jesus 5.15. I'll sing it shut in. Deacon Lee Owens Barnes. Sister Mary Ann Barnes. Sister Lily Bryant. Sister Wynema Carney. Sister Ethel Fields. Sister Barbara Johnson. Sister Cleola Johnson. Mother Naomi Jenkins Greensboro, North Carolina. Sister Audrey May. Sister Darla McLaurin. Sister Glenda Nobles. Mother Lena May Nobles. Sister Connie Puritan. Sister Dorothy Jean Green. Brother, brother Fred Richards. Brother Mervyn Richards. Sister Patricia W. Rogerson. Sister Cynthia Tyson. Brother Greg Williams. Sister Dolores Williams, Sister Betty Wooten, Brother Bobby Wooten Jr., and Brother Tim Wooler. Worthy, worthy. Dear Lord, 
wrong, dear Lord, to death before you, dear Lord, for your glory, dear Lord. So, Lord, we got to learn to put off our inhibitions and just let the praises of the Lord come down. So, Lord, right now, dear Lord, Father, even if they are moving in this crowd, dear Lord, Father, as you're touching that camp, as you're touching that arthritis, as you're touching that heart problem, dear Lord, touch the Lord, touch us, dear Lord, that we may, dear Lord, learn how to say thank you. Thank you, Lord, for waking us this morning. Thank you for clothing us out our right back. Thank you for the clothes on our back. Thank you for the roof of our head. Thank you for the vehicle we drive. Thank you for our spouse. Thank you for our children. Thank you for the job. Thank you, dear Lord, for the strength of the thing again. Thank you for all that you're doing, dear Lord. Lord, we just want to say thank you. 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 And Lord, we thank you for what you're about to do in our lives. But Lord, there's a cloud that's rising. Yes. There's a dark cloud. Yes. But Father God, I'm so glad to know the Lord. The sorrow endures for a night. But you are coming to the morning. So Lord, even within the midst of the cloud, Father, I know that there is joy. Yes. And Father, when you give the Lord whatever may come in the cloud, the Lord will thank you right now for the joy that comes in the morning. For where is he? Word is he? Word is the Lamb. I will bless the Lord at all times. My voice shall continually give him praise. So Lord, I just thank you right now. Now, Lord, Father, one more time. As I look upon our youth right now, those that are ushered this morning and those that are sitting in the land. Father, we ask, Lord, that thou would just touch right now. Father, God, not only these, dear Lord, but Satan is trying to run rapidly in this society, dear Lord. Father, he's uh, abusing our young children. Dear Lord, they are not only being physically abused, but they're being mentally and sexually abused. Lord, if we are just asking right now, dear Lord, Father, that I would just touch our youth, dear Lord. Father God, not just these around the altar here today, but Father God, we have children and grandchildren. Dear Lord, that may not be in the midst right now. Father, we lift them up right now. We say, Lord, just watch over them. Father, we thank you, dear Lord. Keep them safe yes. and in your care. Yes. And Lord, we ask that when we come to the end of life's journey, yes. and we must do as so many others have done, yes. we must lay down to rise no more. Yes. And Lord, we ask thee for a resting place. Somewhere over there where Job declared that the wicked shall cease from yes. trouble yes. and the weary shall be at rest. Yes. This is your humble servant's prayer. Yes. And we thank you, Lord, for the voice. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 Amen.
this time we're going to uh, pay ourselves as we are going to hear a message of encouragement from our very own trustee Nancy Wooten. Uh, I know her and I had a little conversation right after Sunday school. We were both talking about how we needed the strength of the Lord to be here today. So the message of encouragement, one, is that the Lord had already strengthened her to be here. Amen. And she said if the Lord just allowed her to show up, then he can show up. That's right. So we're going to receive uh, our very own trustee, Nancy Wooten, after the choir shall give us a selection of their shorts. Let us give uh, Sister Wooten a hand. Uh, Yeah. 
to be grateful for. Yes, God. You see, when we were, a lot of people we could talk about, we could talk about people like uh, Rosa Park, Dr. Ralph Johnson Butch, uh, <clears throat> Thurgood Marshall, and Harriet Tubman, and of course, Dr. King. Mm -hmm. But I decided we need to talk about us right now. For All right, right now. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. I can tell you about me. I can read about the others. That's right. right. But I know. And I know he cares. Yes. Yeah. When we look at how things have been with us so many times, we as a people have really had it hard coming up through the years. Yes. Doors closed in our face, all because of the color of our skin. Yeah. 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 But God, God. God, he made the black one like he made the red and the white one yeah. and so forth. So God cares for all of us. Yeah. Well, you think about the times when you had to work in the field, it was so hard, uh, you weren't, you know, you just had to work, you had to have somewhere to stay. Right. You stayed in a ragged house that you could count to the stars at night. Amen. And you had to have buckets sitting around for, to, to when it was raining. That's right. And, and the, when the wind blow, don't let the wind blow for you know that was, you know, you didn't hardly have enough cover, seemed like, to cover up. But we made it. Yes. God, God kept us. And we sometimes, when we got sick, 
we can go to any doctors unless the boss man decided that you could take your child to the doctor. Mm -hmm. So there was things that, that they, they fixed the earth. <laughs> they took care of us like that. Mm -hmm. We had to have home remedy because we couldn't go anywhere else. Amen. And sometimes the food wasn't necessarily so plentiful either. That's mm -hmm. right. And, and then there were times when that one family car you had, it broke down. Mm -hmm. You still had to walk mm -hmm. where you went. But look at us now. Amen. Look at us now. Amen. The Lord said, I brought in Exodus, he says, I brought thee out of Egypt. Right. Mm -hmm. Out of the house of bondage. Amen. So look at us now. Mm -hmm. We can we work. We have the same kind of jobs that some of them do. Uh -huh. Look how God has given us some of the good things in life. Amen. We live in homes. Many of them are new. Many of them are almost as good as new. It doesn't rain in them anymore. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We don't have to have these big buckets around them anymore. Right. Amen. We got central heat and air. Amen. Many houses got three bathrooms. Amen. Amen. Got more than you got time to clean up. <laughs> so, so you clean up the one that you're going to use the most and shut the door. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Time when we was growing up, and our closets were well, the, all the Sunday clothes would fit in one, you know, pretty good size yeah. closet. Now it takes three clothes of that size yeah, for right. one person's clothes. Yeah. Yeah. And you still can't get nothing right for Sunday. Yeah. Now, right. you know, the truth yeah. Yeah. It ain't like all girl. Fault. <laughs> but we thank God thank for where you. He has brought us. Most of us have retired, and the others are close behind. Mm -hmm. Just look how the Lord has let us stay here. Yes. Amen. Just look, and not just stay here, but know we're here. Amen. Know who we are. Mm -hmm. We ought to give Him praise. Right. Amen. Amen. I give Him praise. Yes. I can you not give Him praise and thanks? Amen. Because see, this is something we understand. We know what we read about the others in, in history. But I'm talking about what he did for me. Mm -hmm. You're talking about what he did for you. That's right. Because you can feel that. Mm -hmm. You can feel that. And you know that. Amen. So we, we come today, we just want to tell God thank you. Amen. We, we, have, we get our checks certain times of the month. We can go shopping whenever we want to. We don't have to wait to Saturday. We don't have to wait to Saturday. We can go shopping anytime we want to. Spend it all if we so desire. <laughs> Every day. Every day. That's what <laughs> and and one, of the, one of the nicest things about it, you know, now when we live, when we go to the doctor now, and you used to, you know, when you go in there, I don't know what about them, but they make it their business to talk loud and say, have you got insurance? <laughs> I mean, you know, why can't you ask me, say, do you have insurance? You know, oh, no, no, no. So that's all right. They asked us that. But we can proudly put out our Blue Cross Blue Shield, our uh, Medicare, our chair, our TRICARE, and anybody else that care to give us a call. <laughs> we got them. You know, right, yeah. <laughs> we no longer have to go around that car. They say, well, well come on, we'll, we'll have a seat and we'll yeah. call you little yeah, lady. lady. <laughs> when you don't have that insurance, have a seat, we'll call you little lady. So, and then after a while, somebody will come out and take you around in the room. And I'm assuming that's around to make arrangements for <laughs> <laughs> How you going to pay? How you going to pay? Because you're not going to get the same service. <laughs> right? <laughs> I think God. We have these cars now. We didn't have anything before. And we couldn't go and get any help before. But look at us now. Yeah. Yeah. It does not. You name it, we got it. Mm. And why can't we praise God? Amen. Why can't we? They even call us now and tell us about, uh, it's time for your annual checkup. <laughs> I mean, when I needed a doctor so bad coming up, with a cough and all the other things that we had, couldn't get one. <laughs> <laughs> now you're telling me to come check. <laughs> 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 Just, just, just look how 
he brought us. Just look how, how can we forget where he brought us. I mean, we don't have time to do nothing but praising God. We don't have time to act cute. We don't have time to act funny. We ain't got that much time left. Amen. Let us get it together. Let us get together. We thank God. And, and you know, sometimes when things get rough with us, Things have been rough. Sometimes it was sickness. Sometimes it was finance. Sometimes it was family relations. Because you know, everybody got one of them in the family where you about three times their age, but they try to tell you how they ought to live. <laughs> you know, you, they're a third of your age, but, you, but they know it. Uh, they know it now. Yes, so, you, you know, you turn that over to God. Yes, then you got that. You got this sickness on the other hand. Then you got a lot of other things. Right. Mm -hmm. It's just one thing after the other. But you know what? Just when it looked like the sun was down in my life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just when it looked like it wasn't going to yeah. shine. Yeah. 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 God put a rainbow in my cloud. All yeah. right. Yeah. 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 So it's been wonderful. It's been wonderful. Yeah. yeah. God wants us to be thankful in every situation. Amen. And even when things don't go our way, just be thankful. Yes. And as we learn from the people that came on before us, we are praying that our people, the younger people, will learn from us. Because if you look at things, history is very fast repeating itself. Amen. And if you're not careful, we're going to be gone. Mm -hmm. The sad on, thing man. about those of us who, who will stay on the pray on the battlefield, who's gonna pray us through, they'll be going on. Mm -hmm. They'll be going on. Yeah. So let I hope that they will learn from us. And, and you know, when we think of where he brought us from, well, all he brought us through. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And where he brought us to. Mm -hmm. I was so sad. Hallelujah. Right. Yes. Yes. We just can't thank him enough. Right. Turn around and say, I just can't thank God enough. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So right. We, right. Have, we need to ask God, Lord, help us. Create in us a clean heart. Yes. Yes. And please renew a right spirit in us. Because right. some of our spirits are not right. Yes. Yes. right. But ask him to renew a right spirit in yes. us. Yes. And creating us a clean heart. Right. And then we'll say, you know, Lord, you say, we're going to humble ourselves. Amen. We're going to pray. We're going to seek your faith. And we're going to turn from some of our own wicked ways. Right now. Because, Lord, we want you to forgive us for our sins. Yeah. Right. We want to hear from heaven. Mm -hmm. And please, Lord, heal our Amen. land. Amen. Thank you. All right. All right. All right. Jesus asked him when he saw the man laying there and asked him how long and he'd been in this case. He said, Will thou be made whole? Mm -hmm. The man said, that, uh, Sir, I have no one when the water is troubled to place put me in. But see what happened, he said, But while another one, while I'm stepping down, another one coming and stepped in before me. But you see, the question, the problem is here, that wasn't what Jesus asked him. Jesus said, will thou be made whole? Yes. See right here this afternoon, the question is, are you saved this afternoon? Amen. Don't talk about everybody else around you. That's right. What their situation is. That's right. Are you saved right now? Amen. Don't compare yourself to say, well, I'm better off than so. Mm -hmm. Don't say that I'm 
You know, as I'm stepping into the church, somebody else steps in my way. See, that's what happened with the pool, with bed at the pool. He's saying that uh, as I'm stepping in, somebody else. But Jesus said, will you be made whole? That was the wrong answer. He, the answer is, will I be made whole? Do you want to be made whole? Do you want to be saved? Amen. Yes or no? Amen. Right. And this day, after such a wonderful words of encouragement Amen. from Amen. Trustee Wood, the question for you today is, are you thankful for where the Lord has brought us? Are you thankful for where you are right now? Are you thankful for where the Lord is taking us? And do you want to walk with Him? Will you accept Him as Lord and Savior? We extend the invitation to those of you today who do not know Jesus being the part of your sin. That you may come and accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Yes, See, he's standing at the door and knocking. Mm. See, that was a wonderful thing. Ah, ah. Jesus was, the man, the, the important man, he just didn't understand that Jesus was right before him. Yes, he, yes. he was waiting on the troubling of the water, but the water didn't have to be troubled yes. for him. All Jesus had to say, take up that bed yes, yes, yes. and walk. Amen. See, our problem is we're waiting for everyone else to do something for us. Hmm. But Jesus is right here. The choir sung us just a little while ago. Jesus cares about our situation. Mother Debris was over there. She was just thanking God for what the Lord has already done. I saw many, I saw many, many tears running down faces of many folks in here. Just because Jesus cares. Trustee Wood herself had to take a breath because before she could speak, because Jesus cares. And I want to let you know right now. Jesus cares about your situation. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever shall believe in it should not perish but have life everlasting. Talk about somebody caring about you. He cared enough to die for your sin and my sin. Do you love him? Yes. Right. Will you serve him? The choir is going to give us a selection of their shorts. We extend the invitation to you today. Maybe you have already accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior. But someone has said, or you have heard something today that may have touched your heart and say, Lord, I need more of you. And I want to let you know you can come to this altar and we will talk with you, we'll pray with you. Or you can just stand right where you are and just say, Lord, I need you. But do not let this service today, the inspiration, the spirit that's been in this service today, just roll like running water off your back. But let it seep into your heart and change your life. Let's let it stay.
Let's look at the quote. <laughs> Sometimes we believe too soon, but God always knows when the time is real. And so I just thank you all for this program. Freedom, freedom, where are you? It's in the hands of God. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. So don't allow anyone, anyone to take you back. But keep pressing forward in the direction that God has set. Keep going forward. He's got your back. You don't have to worry about that. Amen. You just keep looking to the hills from whence cometh your help. Because all of your help comes from the Lord. God has truly, truly blessed each of us individually. But he is blessing us as an Anderson Chapel Church family. And I thank God for it. Thank you, Pastor, for the leadership that you provide because Amen. as long Amen. as the head goes in the right direction, the body will Thank surely you. fall. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Dr. Knight, and thank you, choir, for your service today. I really want to get into it with my voice yes, sir. <laughs> We're going to get it before we get out. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know how sometimes sometimes you really want to do something and just, just, just uh, your body just want to allow you to let you do it. But uh, see, my wife, uh, I finally went to the doctor on Tuesday. The doctor said that I've been dealing with a bronchial infection and thank God I'm doing better, doing much better, but my voice is, is, is comes and goes, a cough and everything. But I'm, I'm much better than I was and I thank God. I say, you know, the Lord uh, has everything in order because I knew I didn't have to preach today, so that was, that was good. I've been 
I've been in different places. Somebody's singing and I'm trying to sing and my voice is <laughs> so I know I can't sing. So just a pity to say I finally realized I can't sing. You know what he meant. Just to enjoy the Lord. God is good. He's greatly to be praised. You know, we think about the Lord, as Sister Ruth was saying, as He has where He has brought us from. And you know, the interesting thing that she said, uh, she said it used to be, you know, you couldn't go to the doctor. But now they call you and tell you, it's time for your hands on for it. You know, if, if you don't confirm the first time, they'll call you back. Leave another voice message for you. Just, just keep, just keep calling you. And, and, and all that, all that medical insurance that you have. But on the other side of that, there are so many that still have the insurance to have opportunity to go to the doctor, and they will not go to the doctor. My wife was over there coughing like she's directed that at me. Mm -hmm. um, I, I was dealing with what I thought was, thought was a code, but I'm talking about I'm talking about some of these, and it was what I what I had was a serious serious condition. But I'm talking about when it comes down to women's health, I'm talking about men's health. There are certain things that you deal with, and I, 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 I did not stand to say this, but the Lord just laid this on my heart, and I just have to say it. Because there are so many people that are suffering and even dying from things that could have been prevented. This is one of the reasons why, and I'll, and I'll, I'll, I'll say this as we're talking about, particularly we're talking about black history. So, President Obama, this is one of the reasons why they pushed through the Affordable Health Care Act so that you can get preventative care. And notice, I didn't, I didn't say, I didn't say Obamacare. I'm, you know, we love to say Obamacare. But the reason why I didn't say Obamacare, I say the Affordable Health Care Act, because those that hated Obamacare, when they got out of office and somebody said, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna give the Affordable Health Care. Oh, well, that's, we love that. We just hate the Obamacare. <laughs> It's the same thing, but because because of uh, because President Obama was president, they attached his name to it, and they wanted this, they didn't realize that it was what they needed. And there are many people in Kentucky that when they changed some of the rules in the Affordable Health Care Act, they found out that they are suffering. The Lord is working. You're waiting for him to come down and just touch you and do certain things. He said he'll feed you. You're waiting for him to come in your kitchen to cook your food? You've got to do something for yourself. Amen. Sister Wooten, Trustee Wooten, you, you've encouraged him. I'm going to, I'm going to say let's rise to our feet. Prepare for the choir to give us a closing selection.
thank uh, Sister Nancy on today for that powerful word. Amen. Thank you for lead us and guide us through this work week. Keep us safely to our home. Let us get back to our home and see that our home as they left them are uh, even better than we left them. Amen. That's all we in your name and your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Jesus' name, amen. 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 amen.